and the base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to nothing uh, or bring to naught things that are, that no flesh shall glory in his presence, but of him are ye in the Mashiach Yahushua who of the Most High is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. That's right. Okay. So him trying to get at us talking about we on a low level because we uh we we come like the Lord told us to come like little children to humble ourselves down. He said we inferior. In order for you to receive those type of texts, okay, and, and, and believe that it's authenticated, okay, and to believe that there's no conspiracy entangled or engendered around it to reduce our thinking or frequency to a lower level. So I'm going to use children in this analogy. And when you go into a fridge and you have blue juice, green juice, and orange juice, okay, and you tell your child the, the fridge is your oyster, pick whatever you want, you'll find that sometimes having too much options causes confusion. If you have three different types of toothpaste, you'll find they might open up all three toothpastes probably the same day. So the reason why I'm saying this is I'm dealing with a religious mind state, and there are some int very intelligent uh, religious people out there. Model decent people. Okay, but what I'm going to tell you is the adherents. I don't know. The adherents have been reduced to childlike thinking. The to me, the most intelligent religious adherents out there would be the people that know that they're bamboozling the people in those institutions. They know better than to make subscriptions to that which they have everyone else believing in because it suits their own selfish game. So what I'm going to tell you is, rather than say the black woman is God, I know when we're dealing with language, we're dealing with the subject, and we're dealing with the predicate, okay? Then, then we're dealing with syntax. So we deal with subject, predicate, and syntax. And then we have to deal with syllogisms. And this is when people can get mad at place. I don't understand what he's saying. People don't know what those things are. Syllogistically speaking, you have to have at least two premises and a conclusion if you really want to have a strong impact, okay? Or a premise and a conclusion. We really want to have two premises and a conclusion, syllogistically speaking, to really formulate a serious idea. A punk you hear this shit, man? This is what I'm talking about, man. This is giving me a fucking headache, man. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, all right, verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, Declaring unto you the testimony of God, meaning I don't when 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 you see the brothers teaching man, from the elders down a great millstone and brothers that follow after them, we teach straightforward man, okay, even to do with the 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 fucking braid hanging off the side of his scalp, he even told the dude no, brother they don't understand what you're saying, okay, they don't, they're not on that, okay, that shit is man, God. Yo, we don't approach the scriptures like they were or telling the truth to people because that's madness, man. It says, For I determined not to know anything any among you, excuse me, save your house shall Mashiach and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. You know? Alright? And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect yet not the wisdom of this world nor the nor the princes of this world that come to naught but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory okay which none of the princes of this world knew for if for had they knew it they would not have crucified the Lord glory okay all right that's right so when we kick in the word man we don't come with all that rah rah and, and this this and that and using these oh my god mind blowing big ass words man just just give it to the people straight man you fucking demons, man. This is this dude's a demon, man. Alright? 
This is a. Uh, this is First Thessalonians two. And two it says, but even after that we had suffered before, and were shamefully entreated, as you know at Philippi. We were bold in our power to speak unto you the gospel of the Most High with much contention. For our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanness, nor in guile. But as we were allowed of the Most High to, put, to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God, which trieth our hearts. For neither at any time we use flattering words, as you know, nor at nor a cloak of covetousness, the most highest witness. Okay, that's right. This man is using flattery. This is Proverbs 26, 28. It says, A lying tongue hate of those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth work of ruin. And that's what's going to happen to you guys, man. These guys are following pro light, no light, and this nigga with the the dread dreadlock hanging out the side of his scalp, the rest of his head shaved and tatted up, okay, with the naked face. Um, these niggas gonna lead to your ruin, man. Okay, cause they they have a they have an agenda. Okay, the scriptures speak about people that speak like that, man. You gotta be cautious about people that come at you kicking, so-called kicking truth like that, cause they got an agenda. All right. This is um where's it at? Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Romans chapter fifteen fifteen verse six it says that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify the Most High, even the Father of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach. Wherefore receive ye one another as. Oh, so like, that's not the one I wanted. Where is it at? 